Almost 50 years after the United Nations first created awareness around literacy, Sub-Saharan Africa continues to lag behind world standards, with just under 60% of adults being able to read. Changing this is the key drive behind the Funza Literacy Trust, which believes that education is the foundation of a healthy, stable and growth-orientated society, and reading a fundamental pillar of education. Its core purpose is to improve the literacy of teens and young adults, 14 to 25 years um, of age. And we do this through uh, three programs. The first one is called Popularizing Reading, and it's around book distribution and about getting very high interest content, which is going to make people excited about books and make them want to actually read the books and uh, that have delicious looking covers that, um, that get people to think, you know, what's happening inside? What is the story about? Our second program is called Growing Communities of, of Readers. And that's using the power of cell phones and the reach of cell phones to actually get teens where they're spending a lot of their time anyway and to bring them stories into this medium and, and allow them to read that way. Sure, Mobile technology is one of the most accessible forms of communication in Africa, with more than 90% of South Africans owning a mobile phone. Funza has created reading applications which reach children through youth-orientated software like Mixit. Well, it's quite amazing. I mean, so many children do have cell phones already. So, um, the, you know, and they're there, they're spending their time there, they're sending SMSs to each other, and they're on Mixit. And what we're doing is we've got a, we've got a Mobi site and a Mixit portal, and um, we're also on Peptext as well. And we put content into these spaces, and people are able to read and comment and tell us what they think of the stories and tell each other what they think of the stories and also contribute their own stories through our third pro program, which is called Developing Young Writers. So it's a great way to actually connect with people and get different people to connect with the content as well and to get excited about, about reading. Funza and similar organizations are becoming increasingly important in removing barriers of access to quality literacy. The various networks of NGOs that we have in South Africa are fantastic. They are in fact the essence of what is supposed to be happening in literacy in South Africa. Literacy is the seed for future growth of everything for the economy, for the ad adults, for everyone in that exists in this country, literacy is the seed. And we have these NGOs that are working around the clock to ensure that our kids are able to read and able to function as functional adults in the future. Since inception, Funza has published more than 40 individual stories from its readers, delivered more than 6,000 books, and the Moby network now reaches more than 380,000 people through the Mixit platform. The organization was founded by educator Dorothy Dyer. The idea started really when I was teaching kids from the township. I, I'm an English teacher. And I was trying to get them to read because I found reading is incredibly empowering and I think the key to success at school. And there weren't the right materials to get my really reluctant readers reading. Some readers took off, but there, was, there just wasn't enough stuff that was meaningful to them to persuade them that reading could be relevant to their lives. Okay, the book is about a girl who dates an older guy than her. And then this guy is like, I think he's, he has a, a wife and then he plays the girl. And then later on this girl really, like, like she realizes that She's not, that, she's not that open and not with her friends anymore because she's only interested in the guy. And then she does really bad things and then her granny, like the person she lives with, then she, she realizes that time and this girl has changed. I like the book and I can relate to them because it's something that is happening around the townships and I can relate to them because I've also been in the same problems with um, with on broken promises. But then when I read that book, I also find out that I'm not the only one who's suffering from the same things. Okay, what I like about the books is it's a continuous story. Like each and every book has its different message that is passing on the youth of South Africa, but not like on the youth of South Africa only. Each and every person or people that are reading it. That's what I could say. Funza also encourages writing by publishing the creative works done by school children so that they can fully engage with the reading material.